I have a full throttle now. Very nice. All right, let's turn back inland. You lead. I'm on your uh, wing. Going to the right. Warning, autopilot. Uh, you should have waypoint one selected in your HUD still. Yeah, same waypoint. By the way. All right, great. Oh, I think no, I don't. I'm on the medium again. Yeah. Every it time you automatically does it. Every time you fly over, I, there's probably a way to turn it off. I don't know what it is yet. All right, go ahead and. Um, Point yeah, back to one easy. All right, get lined up on it, and then I'll pull up next to you. When you're lined up and autopiloted on your uh, left hand MFD, go ahead and hit uh, uh, TGP, and it's going to say sensor not aligned or something like that. TGP off. The switch that's um, right below that screen. It's the second switch down on the right. It should say TGP. Go ahead and flip that up. Okay. And now it should say... Out. Yep. It's going to take a second for it to pop on. Go ahead and slow down to like 7500 on your fan. 75. Alright. Locked in. All right. Once your TGP warms up, it needs to warm up like the EO sensor on the Maverick. All right, it just popped on. Now give it a second. It'll get, you'll get a completely black screen when it's ready. Okay. TGP Lightning AT version blah blah blah. Um, what's your speed? Go ahead and drop down to maybe s like in between 75 and 50. I did. I dropped down to 75. I am at 260 at the moment. I'm just below 7500 now. Alright, once your TGP is a black screen, go ahead and uh, make sure autopilot is on. And then on the top row of buttons, you're going to hit A-G for air to ground. Now you get a camera again. No, and now I'm a black screen with a standby. Okay, click click H. And then I hit AG and it comes to stop. Okay. Okay, so now you have the that camera on the left and your Mav camera still on the right. Make sure that your make sure that your TGP is is soy. So click the TGP button again so that you get the green square around that camera. Okay. Go ahead and um, if you look at your HUD, there's a little diamond right in the middle. Oh, I see it now. Okay. That diamond is your T TGP, and you can use the same slew keys that you used on your Maverick to move it around. So go ahead and move it over to the waypoint. Yep, I'm there. Now you can use home to zoom in, I believe. Yep. And this one ground stabilizes all the time, so whatever you point at is what it is what it sits at. So go ahead and... Alright, is zoom it a little bit and that makes it ground stable? Zooming it at all should... I mean, just... It, it should always be ground stable. Just moving it should, should ground stabilize it. Oh, okay. And home, make it zoom it. Yep. And once you're zoomed in on your target... 
I'm trying to find you again. I flew past you. I'm changing it slightly to get myself back on the direct waypoint. There you are. Okay, gotcha. Once you're zoomed in on a target, uh, you can hit the the V key. Just tap it, and it'll it'll do that super zoom again. You're changing between your field of view. You can go narrow or wide field of view. Oh, okay, so V zooms in, what zooms out? If you hit V again, it toggles. You're toggling your field of view. Okay, uh, I felt like it kept zooming in more and less, more and more. It nope. was just in and out, in and out. It's, in, okay, it's in and out. And then home and end are actually like gradient zooms within the field of view. Okay, yeah. So go ahead and put your thing over one of those targets. And then what I want you to do is hold down left control and tap up arrow, and it should, instead of saying area underneath, it should say point. Yes. Now hold down control and hold the up arrow, and that's you're, you're setting that as your uh, point of interest, your sensor of interest. Alright, I held it. I didn't see anything change. It doesn't, it, with it. it doesn't really give you an indication. And now, right. let me see... Are you still at 75% uh... Man? Yeah, 74. Airspeed 250. Okay, let me try and... I can cut the rod a little bit more. No, no, no. Alright, uh, I want you to hold down V. And what should happen is the Ma Maverick camera should uh, slew over to the, the TGP camera. Warning, autopilot. Did you hold down V? And I need to get... Yeah, uh, yeah I'm, I'm moving my TGP camera back over the front way. Now I can see shit. Okay, very good. Okay. Alright, so your Maverick camera is moving with your TGP camera? Uh, yes, now it is. Okay, perfect. Um, put your TGP over something, and it should also ground stable... I mean, the Maverick should follow. Yeah, I have a truck targeted. Go ahead and start... Uh, uh, set your Maverick as your speed. And then start doing the control up arrow until it starts blinking the. Um, set my Maverick as a what? Set your Maverick as your as your center uh, soy. Set, set your Maverick as sensor of interest. Okay, yeah. And then start hitting control up arrow until it locks, and that's when you get the, uh, the blinking cross underneath it. And then once it's blinking, fire away. And you can watch it on the TGP. F6 or. Oh, yeah, and TGP, okay. Because you're still looking at the truck on that. Right? Yes. So you can actually zoom out a little bit if you want and, and get a good view of the uh, missile taking it out. There you go. Boom. Now, while you're here, move, uh, zoom out a lot, move it over a different target, and then when you pass over, the, TG, uh, the TGP will actually will maintain that target when you turn back again. And then all you have to do um, is hold V again so that the Maverick slews over to it. And uh, set the Maverick as your sens center, uh, sensor of interest again. And uh, hold control and tap up until it locks and fire again. Alright, uh, I got the TGP set on it. I've already flown over. That's fine. Oh, the Maverick is locked, so I'll make another pass. Cool. Yep. So it should be ready to go. It should be ready to go. You should, when you turn back around, the TGP and the Maverick should both... The Maverick might not re-align uh, with the TGP, so you might have to do, um, you might have to hold V again so that it re-syncs it re with that point of interest. Um, okay. But it might just snap back. I think it'll snap back. I, I'm not 100% sure. But if it doesn't, just hold right. V and it should slow back over. back over to the right now. 
right? Did you speed up? No, no. You don't need to, uh, I was just asking. And it did switch to waypoint 2 again, so you might want to, um... I, I already switched that back. Okay. So, if, if your Maverick is locked on the target again, go ahead and set your Maverick as your sensor of interest. Go ahead and start hitting control up until it locks, and once it locks, fire away. Awesome. Good hit. So now you can go ahead and target something else and just keep repeating it if you want. I mean, that's basically how you use Mavericks. And so, uh, what do you do when you're changing your, uh, what's the S again? Sen sensor of interest? Yes. There's, there's, there's two things that you want to be, you want to concentrate on. One is this soy, which is the sensor of interest. That is what you're currently operating on. What your right. controls are currently affecting. So... Yes. When you when you use SLU, depending on whatever your sensor of interest is, that's what the SLU is going to ba uh, move around. Gotcha. When you have something that you're looking at, you set it as your SPI, which is your sensor point of interest. So what we've done is you have set your um, TGP as your sensor point of interest. That's what the control up arrow long was. You held that when you oh, had okay. when you had something um, underneath that, and you held down Control Up Arrow. You're setting that as your speed. So whatever it was, you're, that's basically always going to be your speed. When you hit V, you're slaving all other sensors to that sensor of interest. So the Maverick camera automatically slaves to that point of interest. You can also gotcha. you can also send your your speed. So if you went to your TGP right now. You could send your SPI to me and give it to me as an assignment, and it automatically gets loaded onto my plants computer and automatically becomes my SPI, and then I can just slave to that point and fire. I don't even yeah. have to. I don't have to find them. I don't have to do anything. <laughs> so, like one person can do the targeting. Exactly, and, and everyone else. else drops. Yep. So uh, you you run the F-18, and that guy is lighting up targets for everybody else or something. Precisely. And he's also doing, he right. can also do uh, uh, air support. Hell yeah. Uh, combat air patrol. I mean, he can he can take out air to air. Alright, uh, I'm gonna make another approach. Right, I'm right behind you. Go for it. And uh, I noticed that if I, however I had it set up, I fired all my left Mavericks. Uh, yeah. And, 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 and look at my plane, too. In place of one of my rocket pods, there is like a little minigun hanging off my hard point. No, that's the, those are the, the those are the rockets. No, I mean, one of them looks like a rocket pod, and the other one looks like a minigun. Uh, like a chain gun. Yeah, it's wild. I'll try and get a screenshot here. Well, I'm, I'm recording, so let me fly by you, and I'll see if I can see what it is. You go ahead and, and keep targeting and firing with your Maverick. You have you have fun with this because. What's the general range on the Maverick? General range is about like for here you're you're probably going to be locking on at about six miles, seven miles maybe. Okay. Um. There's a way to lock on to it so that uh, I mean there's there's a way you can lock on to things so that you're firing way farther out than that, but it doesn't actually lock onto a target. You're, you're basically locking onto a ground point, and it's less accurate, especially for moving targets. Right. Okay. 
like a Maverick camera will, will lock onto a moving target, but the other way it just locks onto the ground, so if you fire, if the target's moving, you're not going to hit it if it moves. And the same, this is not Halo. <laughs> right. <laughs> So I just broke five miles. Oh, I have to switch back to Maverick to hit yes. control up. Shoot. It does, yeah, just tapping control up doesn't do anything with your speed, so don't worry about that. You should be able to quickly slew to another target uh, when you get some practice and fire again. And there are other ways to control. There you go. It's a fucking dance, let me tell you. Yes, it is. Even with a joystick. There's another way to, to deal with it. Um, that is more advanced and could possibly be seen as easier. But I don't know what the keyboard command is for it. Nice kill. Yeah, dude, dude uh, I got three on that one, that run. Yeah, I watched. I got it all on film. Booyah. Booyah, Kasha. There's, um... There's a way you can you can use what they're... They're called mark points. And you basically are creating waypoints on your targets. And then all you do is you, you lock, fire, use the steer point button on your that front console um, to switch to the next mark point. Uh, lock, fire, switch to the next target, lock, fire... And that's the most efficient way to, to take out targets with Mavericks. But um, I don't know what the keyboard commands would be for them. Otherwise, I would teach you how to do it. And you use that in conjunction with the targeting computer. Generally, what you would do is you would fly by your target range, like at a 90 degree angle, just to get targets. Yeah. You just set them all as, way, as mark points. How do I center my TGP camera? Uh, you make your TGP soy. Yeah. And, and then you hold down C, and that should center it again. All of the all of the controls cool. generally do the exact same thing. Uh, it just depends on what sensor you have set as soy. So C generally always centers a camera if that's what you have set as soy. Um, v key always slews all of the other sensors to whatever your current uh, center point of interest is. Um, once you get the hang of it, and I would definitely recommend going through the tutorials multiple, multiple, multiple times. I think in the past, yes. the past well. two weeks <laughs> I've probably gone through um, most of them like three or four times. Because in this game it's definitely all about repetition. Like you're falling. Oh, rockets, nice. They're definitely not accurate. I mean, the rockets are more area effect than anything else. You really don't want to. I mean, I put a bunch on here just to kind of give us a bunch of stuff to play with, but I didn't really want to. Yeah. Um, they're not precision instruments. And right now they're oh, firing. It takes me back to playing Nightmares days. Oh, definitely. Right now they're firing that, one at that, a time. That approach I did, I was trying to get my TGP camera to find the fucking runway because C was not centering view for me. It was taking it back to, I, I guess, my next waypoint. Hmm. Oh yeah, it is. Mine's doing it too. 
Uh, hold on, let me see if I can figure out how to... I think it's... Oh right, yeah, so I switched back to one easy. And I'm uh, making left for another pass. Yep, I'm still behind you. Um, um, did you fire something? No. Are you getting a missile warning? No, um, my TGP uh, is now centered on the runway and I'm seeing a little white dot flying around above it. Not me, it's I'm like behind you. Oh, the white dot on on your um on that is actually I think pointing to where your camera's pointing. Oh no shit. It's a it's an indicator on your on your uh, for where my Maverick camera would be pointing if I had any. No, I believe it's where your TGP camera is currently pointing, based uh, relative to um relative to the plane's position. I think I'm not a hundred percent sure. Here, before you waste all your rockets, let, let's uh, turn out the sea real quick. I'm going to show you how to set a ripple, so when you hold down the button, it fires multiple rockets in one volley. Okay, I just had to blow that guy up. I'll gain a little altitude, too. Yep. Nice kill. I can shoot. Yeah, the rockets and the gun are actually two of my favorite weapons. That's all I used in playing Nightmares days. Hell yeah, man. It's all rocket pods and just set it to like, firing one or two at a time. Alright, I'm behind you. I'm only at 2,000 feet, so I'm not very much higher than you. Looks like you're going at about 240. Morning, autopilot. 280. Um, Not speed, uh, uh, direction. I'm still right behind you. Yes, yes. Alright, go over to your... Um, you can actually turn the MAV off if you want. Uh, I would set it to, to CDU or TGP if you want. You can set the targeting computer over there. Um, it's personal. Oh, that's great. Yeah, yeah. I'll put it over there and then I can bring, because I can only do tab on the left, right? You can only do DSMS yeah. on the left, yes. And tab. You generally want, and tab. You generally want to switch the, um, the TGP Morning, to the uh, left-hand screen when you're using Mavericks, because you can only do Mavericks on the right. Gotcha. Otherwise, switch back. Okay, on your left-hand screen, bring up your DSMS. And up on the top, uh, uh, click on Profile. Scroll down to your uh, MK5 profile, which is your rockets. And click View Profile on the top. Now over on the side there where it says uh, SGL for single, uh, click that until it says uh, rip single, just ripple. Actually, yeah. Go ahead and set it to ripple pairs. Okay. Well, I already I already emptied one pod. Oh, okay. Then do ripple single. So you should have twenty one more. And I fired a few. Okay, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. Um, go ahead and hit. Uh, uh, do you know how many you have left? Uh, look at your HUD and see how many you have left. It should Does that be in the, the second number on the top right. Should say no. Actually I I thirteen R D like over to the left I should I get airspeed and then R D and below that I've got thirteen. No, I think the thirteen is something else. I don't know yeah, actually what yeah, it no, is. No, that was it. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Don't oh. worry about it. I fired a rocket and it started counting down. Now it's going down to zero now. It could be time to. And then it blinks. It could be time to hit. Okay. It could be calculating when it's gonna when it's gonna actually oh. land on the ground. Wow. Don't worry about it. Go ahead and, and um, on your on the number pad on, on your front console. Um, type in five. Actually, type in. Type in four. 
And then over on Rip Quantity, on the uh, left MFD, click on that button, and it should change Rip Quantity to 4. Oh, sick. And then I click... Save, right? yep. And then you can go back to Stat. Uh, oh, well, I guess the profile... Yeah, profile's a good image. Profile should say... Oh, it, it, sh it should have that profile um, activated. If not, go back to the profile view and make sure that that profile is active. Yeah, we're good. Alright. So now you can turn back towards the target, and when you start firing on them, um, you will fire four at a time when you hold down weapons release. Another thing you might want to do, the first switch on the right underneath that left MFD is the gun pack. Okay. If you flip that up, what it'll do is it'll stabilize your plane a little bit Morning, autopilot. Uh, when you're diving. And it's it's for the gun, but it works on other dive weapons too. Alright, you gotta run me through that one again, hold on. And we'll have to go try and make a landing because we're at 1,000 pounds fuel. Okay, yeah, one more pass and then we'll go land. Cool. Alright, so I'm just trying out my first shot of four. What was that last thing you were talking about? I was saying that there's a there's a there's a stabilization thing on your on your plane that helps with strafing runs for gun and also for rocket. Oh, okay. It's so the where, where's that control? Underneath the left hand screen, it's the first switch on the right. It's the one that says gun pack. Yes. Flip that up arm. And what'll happen is you'll notice that the nose of your plane drops a little bit. And when oh, you're... Okay, yeah, and then my autopilot was compensating a little. Yeah, it, it, it will counter-compensate. Uh, and when you're, when you're dive-bombing at something, it actually stabilizes the plane slightly. Uh, when you fire your gun, it's so that the plane doesn't kick up when the gun is being fired. Otherwise, if you disable, if you, oh, okay. if you set it, if you set it to safe, you can't fire your gun. And if you set it down, you're you can do like strafe runs with your gun because as you as you fire the gun, it'll actually kick the nose of the plane up. But it should also help with rockets. It should make the rockets slightly more accurate. Okay, and then what was the thing that changed the TTP screen to point? Is that control up again? Yes, that is just a single control up. Don't hold it. Uh, right, it's, it's a. It's cool. a. Yeah, you just tap. Yeah. And so I'm using that to scout out this runway right now. And we might actually, I might actually curve around to the other way. Oh, no, no, no. I'll just, I'm going to bank over to the, the right a little and try to make a straight line run on that runway. For sure. Um, also, if you have the rockets on and you have the gun pack on, you'll notice that a cross shows up in the middle of that rocket carrot. That is where your gun will hit. So you can launch a bunch of rockets and then follow oh. up immediately with guns. Okay. So the, the crosshair that's stuck at the top of the HUD is irrelevant. The crosshair that's stuck at the top of the HUD is the uh, foresight of your gun. That is where the gun is uh, where actually... Oh, straight forward. Okay. Right. So if I was flying straight down, that's where I would land. Got it. Precisely. Okay.
Oh, the rockets, they do nothing. Remember, you can uh, you can hold down the button. It sounded like you were clicking quite a bit. Well, I was bursting with my main guns. Oh, okay. My, my Gatling. You're gonna want the rockets didn't even fire. Oh, really? Yeah. Is Let's it... go then. All right. You see the runway up ahead of us? Nope. Hold on. There is a runway up ahead of us. To your left. Along the coast, little yellow thing? Uh, it should be like literally right at your 11 o'clock or 10 o'clock, right in front of you. I'm just flying back next to it right now. Yeah. Okay, yes. That's not the one that we took off from, but we can certainly land there. Okay, landing sequence. Um, go ahead and drop to about. Well, you're already pretty low. Uh, I would say. I'm at 700 right now. I'm gonna gain a little bit. Climb to about uh, 1500. And just start flying away from that runway. Yep. Um, do you want to try an ILS approach? What's ILS? ILS is with the uh, landing system. It gives you a cross on that center ball that tries to tell you where you're on the flight path or not. Oh, okay. It might end up screwing you up. You might just want to dead reckon it for your first couple tries. I think I'll just tries. do a dumb, la dumb landing for now, yeah. All right, you're going to want to slow down to about uh, 220. On at what point in my approach? Uh, right now, actually. Well, I'm headed directly away from the runway. Yeah, that's fine. You you want to start slowing down now because you don't want to try slowing down when you're on a, when you're on final. You already want to be going uh, the speed. I gotcha. Okay. Your landing speed is going to be like 150 or 140. I mean, you're you're going to be going slow, so you definitely want to get a head start on that. Is that going to be with flaps all the way down? That is going to be with flaps all the way down. Yes. And all you're right. going to want to set Make your bank left here. You're going to want to set your um, master arm to off, and uh, your ground pack gun to off, and your TGP. All those buttons, you're going to want to set them to off or safe. Okay. I think I lost sight of the runway. Mm. It's back there. I see you. <laughs> My master caution just went off. I've dropped below 500 on fuel. Uh, all right, you're gonna want to turn to your. My left, right? Yes. Yes, turn left. I think I see where the actual landing field is. Hold on. Head in there. Oh, jeez. Okay. We're going way around the wrong side. Uh, do you still see me uh, in, in a box in your HUD? No, we, we canceled that out a long time ago. I still see you, so I don't know if, if you still... Uh, I, I, uh, no, it's like we got locked in, and then when, I, when you had me starting up the Mavericks, it canceled you out. Okay. All right, you're flying. I am down to your uh, left, and I'm following you now, so I'm, I'm going to keep tabs on you. Okay, uh, what, is, what are my air brakes? My air brake button. I believe it's uh, shift B, and I don't know what uh, putting it down is. I think it's shift B and control B, extend and retract. Be sure to put your landing gear down and you're way too high. Here. 
Do 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 a one eighty. You should you should have plenty of fuel. Oh shit! Don't stall. It's not a hornet. When you do a 180, you should see me flying. I'm flying, uh, let me turn my lights and, sh and shit on. I should have my, I should be blinking and I should have all of my lights on. And how am I supposed to see you? I should be right in front of you right now-ish. Okay, I see you. You're crossing in front of me. Yep, just follow me. Uh, Alright. I'm going about 200 right now. 260. Okay. Catch up to me and, and slow down. Let me let me see if I can figure out what the speed brakes are. We have to do it soon. I was gonna try and get my TGP camera to look at the runway so I'd have a frame of reference. Because I can't look around like you do. Uh don't worry about that. If anything, um Yeah, just if you if you if you can see me, just follow me in, because you'll you'll I'm gonna Yeah I am. Okay. I'm high, and I'm actually directly behind you and slightly high. Yep, I see you. Okay, speed brakes. To extend your speed brakes is control B, and to bring them back in is uh, shift B. Got it. And you'll hear a mooching, and you'll hear you'll, your speed will start dropping immediately. Alright, I'm turning on final. Watching. I'm going to 30. Just follow me right in. Yep. I'm going to put my flaps down one stage right now. So just hit F, and it'll drop them down to 10. Uh, no, it's not, because we're not going slow enough. Go ahead and slow down to 190. Dude, I don't know. Okay, now I see the runway. All right. I wasn't sure where you were. I'm slowing way the fuck down. I'm slowing down to 190. I'm at 3,300, dropping speed. Dropping flap one stage. Yep, once you're at 190, it should it should drop one stage, and then drop your gear as well. And that alarm always goes off when you drop your gear. So, con control B is break, shift B is release? Yes. And you have to hold them down, you can't just tap them, you have to hold them. You're extending them bit by bit, you can, you can get yourself quite a bit of control. you still see me, or did you lose me? Oh, I see you. You're, bu you're below me now. I'm below, yeah. Alright, perfect. Uh, you should be going about 160 right now. I don't know if my brakes are out or what. I mean, all of a sudden, I'm dropping like a brick. So I just gotta pull up more here. And give yourself more speed. More power. I'm at 205. Oh, really? Altitude, altitude. All right, looks like you're coming in. Nice. Uh, W's, wheel brakes. Hold W until you're stopped. Insert to switch my wheel steering on. Hell yeah, and I'm coming in right behind you. I am absolutely amazed that that worked. <laughs> Alright, gain a little bit of speed, I'm right behind you. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Dude. <laughs> I almost just took out your tail. Nice. 
Alright, just park somewhere here. Just, just wheel brake until you stop. And open your canopy. Now you can bring up that weapons menu, uh, left, alt, and, um... Left. Oh, and reload. <laughs> that's cool. I think that's gonna do it. Oh no! Well. You just fucking ran through, didn't you? Just took out your wing, sorry. Speed break, speed break. And you need to do it. It's totally not there. Mine's still fine. <laughs> 